Hello and welcome to a scientific episode of Sorted Here. We have been celebrating Berry Week and we thought it would be amazing to test some Miracle Berries. Miracle Berries are amazing. Um, they alter your taste buds. Or they do things, they? They make things they taste do. sweet. Or do they? they have that, to. That, well, that's why we're testing it. So, we we've know. got a selection of different types of food from all of the, well, from the most popular taste on the tongue. Sweet not sour. all of them. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter, umami, and spice, not a taste, but a sensation. Yeah, there are others, but we know. Don't comment below. <laughs> um, before we get cracking, here's some science. Miracle fruit is a phenomenal berry. The secret to its magical properties lie in the taste-transforming protein called miraculin. You can probably see where it's got its name. In more formal circles, it's known as this. Sinsipalum, don't you, well, you can read it for yourself. It's existed and been consumed ahead of meals in the likes of Western Africa for centuries to get a sweet kick from sour foods more easily grown. But it wasn't until the 1970s that its magic was unlocked and shared with the rest of the world. Miraculin hooks itself onto the sweet receptors of the tongue, thus disabling them. The berry itself tastes of very little. However, in acidic conditions, the Miraculin proteins gain a few extra protons and change shape. As they do, they warp the shape of the sweet taste receptors at the same time. This movement sets the sensors off and the brain tastes sweet. Okay, so Miracle Berries, they don't have a particularly long shelf life, so instead we have Miracle Berry Extract in tablet form. I bought them off of the internet. I just want you to pop them in and let them dissolve in your tongue. Are you sure it was safe, this yeah. website you got it from? It's fine. It wasn't the, like, the black market. No, it should have about a 30 minute effect. What, to dissolve? Really? No, 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 the effect will last 30 minutes. It doesn't minutes. taste great. It tastes a little bit like a multivitamin yeah. you used to have when you were a kid. Like, mm. It's a bit like cranberry, like it's drying, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What effect will these Miracle Berries have on the different food groups. We've got a plethora of choice here and we're going to test them. Should we start this end? I haven't finished mine yet. No, no, I'm all right. Oh, so let's not start. Are you just going to bite yours? I was going to see who could last the longest. Are we done? Winner! <laughs> <laughs> let's start from this end. Try some kale. So okay. in theory this is... Been cooked. Yeah, just cooked kale. So it's quite bitter, quite savoury. But how long does it take to kick in? pretty much immediately, but it wears off after about 25 to 30 minutes okay. because your saliva breaks it down. I'm not sure that's had any difference. No. Tastes no. very kale Healthy. <laughs> oh, this is going swimmingly. How about salty? Oh man, that is an anchovy. Try an anchovy. <laughs> this is gonna suck. I don't think this is gonna... This is, this is, this is your yeah. nightmare. Anchovies, oh. Come on. H. No, no. Uh, they're fishy. It's fishier than... It's definitely an anchovy. Okay, ready? I think that's just a mushroom. Mm. Should we go sweet next, or the one we're all waiting for, which is sour? <clears throat> Let's go sweet. Just Couldn't think of anything <laughs> more sweet than a marshmallow. Three, two, two, one. What was that for? That went in my mouth, so... Tastes like a marshmallow. Yeah, it's a marshmallow. Mm. Okay, right. Green apples. That we know is sharp. <laughs> right. Oh. That's different. Oh. I love Ooh. these berries. Oh, I know. Is... Wow. It tastes like a toffee apple. Oh, no. <laughs> I was wrong. Okay, so if apples work and they're just a little bit sour, <laughs> should we ramp it up? I'm, I'm going for the one we've all been waiting for. It's all repeating on me now, I'm starting to burp. <laughs> Lime. The acid from these should react with the miracle berry attached to your sweet sensor. And what you should end up with is your brain going, oh my God, it's sweet. Now, what I think will be interesting is it's not just about how your tongue reacts. What does your face do when you eat something really sour? It goes like this. So can it trick your brain enough to not do that? Oh! oh, God, oh, oh. How am I eating a lime? Oh, I'm so That's excited. It. No flinch on the face, and I think that's more interesting. It's like sherbet. Yeah. It's like, they, so these are already, <laughs> these are already quite a sweet and they get a little bit sweeter. But the more acid you put into something, the sweeter it gets. Grapefruit, I can't even, I can't bear it. Oh my goodness, that's delicious. That is so oh, sweet. Oh wow. How is that, this even possible? That is like a tangerine. That is quite delicious. That really is. 
Yeah, right. It doesn't work if you eat the peel. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that is still bitter. So this is the crazy thing, and this is where I think the whole conspiracy thing comes in, because back in the 70s, there was a company that worked out they could extract that protein from the Miracle Berry and use it to create desserts in a cafe, like big gattos and ice creams that were minimal calories because there was no sugar, incredibly bland, until you have a Miracle Berry. And they thought this was the future. And they were about to launch their product and literally a week before they did, their offices were ransacked and all the data was taken. And the day before they launched the product, the FDA made it a ban and labelled it as a food additive. And since then, people have never been able to put it into food. So you can buy it in tablet form for entertainment purposes, and some people use it for medicinal things, but they're not allowed to put it into food because it's a food additive. And the conspiracy was, it was the sugar industries yeah, that imagine. stopped it because the world was becoming so reliant on sugar, and that's what they wanted. Wow, I was sceptical. Well, we have learnt things. We've also had our previous thoughts reinforced. Doesn't work on bitter, umami, salty, sweet. But sweet with a little bit of acidity, like a sharp <coughs> Granny Smith, does work. I find the bit that's most fascinating is it doesn't just affect the tongue. The fact that it can overpower... Where did you rub it? The fact <laughs> that it can overpower your brain to not let you even pull the face. Yeah, you genuinely yeah. believe you're eating something sweet. That's like one of those subconscious decisions. You don't know that you're going to make that face. That just, yeah. that happens. It's a reaction, isn't it? Yeah. Survival That's the instinct. word, a reaction. A survival <laughs> instinct. If you want to give these Miracle Berries a go, um, we're going to put a link down in the description box and you can find them online because they are good fun. And it is Tuesday today, so what's happening on Wednesday? Wednesday, we're doing three things with berries. We are! Click on the left if you missed our last video or click on the right video for one of our favourites.